Hey guys, it's me, Myri Barnes, and I am back with another video. Today is Thursday, August 24th, and it's currently 2.30 p.m. And I know the quality looks a little bit different from my last couple of videos. And then, as well as from my last couple of videos from a few months ago when I had better lighting. And the lighting here is not too great. But I am using my camera for today's video. And my future videos are going to be me using my camera. Now, this is my new camera that I got last year. Not my big DSLR camera. They are both Canons, but this one is a little smaller. It's kind of like for vlogging almost. It's not the fancy what is it the G it's not the fancy mark G7X it's not that but I do want to get that camera eventually but it's just like a cheaper kind of almost the same version of it with like but it's not the same quality it's just a little little double down but I am still learning how to work this camera because like I said I got it last year I didn't hardly use it because I filmed a routine video with two babies that I had I no longer have them but I filmed two videos with them like last year August and I took the SD card out and it got stuck in my slot that I have to use to import the videos from the camera to my laptop so I just never got another memory card until right now <laughs> it actually arrived yesterday from Amazon Prime I got 64 gigabytes instead of 32 then I didn't want to do the 120 because I feel like that was too much so this is the one I got I always get this SD card but again I have to play with the settings on this camera but this next video not after this one but I feel like my it might be my next two videos so it won't be after this video, but I think it'll be after that video. I have a really exciting video coming up. And I feel like you guys are going to really enjoy that one. And hopefully I have the settings figured out for this camera before then. Anyways, I have September for this video who you guys haven't saw in a long time. There is a reason on why I haven't showed her. But I am not going to state that right now or probably in this video. I probably will a little bit later. Anyways... I'm going to change her and I made this topic up right on the spot so hopefully I don't get my words tongue tied and all messed up. I'm away from the camera so hopefully you guys can still hear my voice. I'm trying to look for the spray bottle because I didn't grab it but I don't see it so I don't know where it went. There's like multiple. Oh I found one bigger one i was looking for my little one i have like two three little ones and then i have like two of these big ones so i'm just going to use this one because i just found it instead of the one i was looking for which is good anyways i know the lighting is horrible and uh, i do apologize for that i have a lamp next to us but since i didn't figure out the settings yet for this camera and the lighting is already bad i think it just might be bad all around like yeah yeah it looks like a little blurry but yeah you guys already know how she looks like I said I'm going to try my best to get the settings figured out so that way my videos won't look like it's filmed on a Nokia <laughs> so I'll be playing around with that looking at some videos figuring out the best suggestions for this camera anyways that's enough of me rambling let me show you guys what she's going to be wearing all right so she's going to be wearing this shirt it's so cute it's white and it has like pink little flowers pink and orange gray flowers all over it and i guess it could possibly be a dress because it is pretty long but i decided to just go ahead and pair it up with these shorts now i had so many outfits and shirts in mind planned for september here and this is the one i just decided on right now but there was two other shirts that i was going to pair with these shorts instead but i was just like this one is like really cute for the summertime so we'll go with this 
This shirt is Carter's three months and these pants are, or these shorts are Carter's three months as well. So both are Carter size three months. And let's just go ahead and change her. So for today's video, her hair is crazy. I'm going to be talking about special babies. So not really a fun or juicy topic. Again, I just made it up on the spot before I started filming. So yeah, all right. I know many of us have special babies in our collection. And I know a lot of us like to think that all of our babies are special, which they are. But I just wanted to talk and pretty much ask you guys who's your special baby in your collection. For me, all of my babies are really, really special. And they have unique things about them that I like, which is why I got them. But there are two babies in my collection that are extreme or three really that are extremely special to me for different reasonings and they're not like really sentimental or emotional i think i want to say the stories behind them isn't really like an emotional story which is why i can share it even though these babies mean the world to me but the reasoning isn't like something where i'm like oh you guys can't know so that's why I'm sharing it. So Eilina is one of my very, very special babies because she was the first baby that I got that was, can I call her high quality? I'm not sure, but she was one of my first babies that I got that had like no boo-boos on her except one. She got like a little small pen mark on her, but like, painting flaws she doesn't have any painting flaws or anything like that and so i thought that was really really special because she also she kind of also introduced me to the collection that i have now wanting babies that fit more of my style wanting babies that are kind of that higher quality where i have to work more and harder towards to save up in order to purchase them she was also from a very very special person in this community like this lady means the world to me and she is the reason why i am back into reborns because she gifted me my nolan jacob who is a baby you guys have not saw in a long time. So many of you guys don't know, even know who that is. But I still have this baby. And he is my Amelia Crawler kid. If you guys go back on my channel. YouTube brought back the tab that shows your older videos now. Because they had it for literally the longest time ever since they had YouTube. Then they just recently took it away and then recently brought it back. So if you guys go on my channel... You guys can you guys can actually see that baby and it's like five years ago today I think six years ago it's six years ago today and some of the videos are five years ago but it's going to soon say six years ago because I got him in 2017 of this month of August so he was the first baby back into my collection you guys all know I joined in 2013 and I ended up selling the only baby that I had in 2014 so i was out of the hobby for a long time i was still in the community but i just didn't have any babies to actually be active and really in the hobby she actually gifted me that baby and he was the start of my brand new collection after him i started getting more and more babies and i had got another baby his name is messiah i still have him he was my first I think my first and my only Roborn. I want to say so. He's the Roborn Charles asleep kid. They didn't even have a wake at the time. <laughs> and then I started getting like a whole bunch of other babies. And now you guys know I have too many babies. So that's why I feel like Elena is special to me. And I and Nolan, he is special to me as well. But they kind of go like hand in hand. Like he's special to me because he reintroduced... Well, He's special to me because he brought me officially back into the hobby 
in the community because if I didn't get him I don't know how much longer it would have taken me to actually get a baby and then she's special to me because she was my first high quality baby in my collection and they are both from the same person and I love them so so much so those two are my special babies and then bringing it back to 2023 I have this really cute purple cloth diaper that I actually won in a giveaway and there was a blue one and there was a pink one I just had the pink ones here but I was gonna go with a different shirt like I was telling you guys earlier so that's why I have the purple but this shirt I should have had the pink but it's okay anyways bringing it to not 2023 sorry bringing it to 2022 and i have more special babies more special personal babies in my collection starting with milano who is my sunny kit by joanna kazmerzak i know she looks so weird on this camera but she looks so adorable in person so my Sunny, oh guys, I forgot to tell you, I found out that if you put your category for your video as educational and you accidentally or purposely show the boy girl bits, supposedly, supposedly YouTube will not take the video down. I know this is so off topic, but I meant to tell you guys this like a year ago, not a year ago, what? I meant to tell you guys this about a month ago because there was a video that was going around on YouTube and I just like why is this video on YouTube it was like kind of inappropriate it was this person showing how to wax a part of their body and YouTube left the video up even though it wasn't like in an inappropriate area so I'm like they're taking down videos for fake parts but people are showing real parts on here and I found out it's because they put their video as do put their video category as educational because I guess it is educational you know showing people how to wax properly could be used as educational and so the video is still up and they didn't take it down and it's up for that very reason so I'm assuming if I put this video as educational, YouTube won't take down my video. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really look into it. But that's just my thoughts on it. I probably should and will look into it a little bit later. But I'm going to see. I'm going to try with this video. Okay. So, anyways. What was I saying? Okay. Yeah. So back to 2022, I have Milano and Milano is, I think I'm doing this right. You guys know I'm not familiar with the cloth diapers, but I remember somebody said that this liner goes inside of the diaper. So it's like a little long, it's like almost too long for it. Okay. This is a really cute diaper though. I do, I always say this, I want to get more cloth diapers and then I never do because my mind be everywhere else and I forget. Anyways, back to Milano, back to Milano, okay. Even though she doesn't have armatures, there are easier ways for me to pose her and have her little hands out the way so that I can change her properly. So Milano, again, who is my Sunny Kit by Joanna Casmer Zach. He is another special baby of mine for a different reasoning than Eilina and Nolan. So he's very, very special to me because back in 20... Was it 2017? I think the Sunny Kit did come out 20 in 2017. If not, it was 2018. So, back... This diaper is huge. That's okay. 
I probably did not do that right, so bear with me. I know you guys are probably laughing and talking about me like, what can you do right? <laughs> Anyways, I believe his kit did come out in 2017. If not, like I said, it was 2018. And I wanted his kit so bad when it first came out. But I don't think I fully understood the concept of a limited edition kit. So, I didn't get it. The kit sold out fairly quickly. And everyone had the Masani. This particular one was just so gorgeous to me. I'm talking about Milano here. I was like, this is the most beautiful sunny I ever saw. I was like, this baby sh should have been one of the prototypes. I was like, goodness, this baby is gorgeous. I followed his first mom and i don't know if he was a custom but i think he was and i was like wow this baby is absolutely gorgeous i love seeing his photos she took beautiful photos of him i love seeing them he was just absolutely gorgeous to me fast forward to i believe 2020 maybe I'm not exactly, oh my goodness, I just accidentally scratched her. I just tried cut, cutting down my nails a little bit. So that when I change the babies, I don't scratch them. But it hasn't been helping because they grow super fast. Anyways, I believe it was 2020, but I'm not 100% sure. But I saw that he was up for sale. Briefly though, because I saw a post of him. I think it was on their story, their Instagram story. And I was like, I should message. But then I was like, well, one thing I don't like <laughs> is feeling like I'm wasting someone's time, even though I know I'm not. But sometimes I just feel like I am. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I won't message. And if the baby is still here, then I'll message. Moving on to like a couple hours or a day ago, the baby was gone. And there was a post saying that, you know, he was sold. So I was like, oh my gosh. I missed my only opportunity to own this gorgeous baby. I do not like these shorts with this. Uh, like, why does it look like that? I don't like this. So I'm trying to see if it's the shorts or if it's the combi combination of the shirt and the shorts. So first I'm going to put a different onesie on. And then if it's the shorts, then I'll take the shorts off and put this back on. I know this video is going to be so freaking long. It's always long when I'm changing her though. Okay. I guess I can still talk because I do still have things to say. So I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> if you guys are still here, thank you so much. Drop drop a pineapple emoji in the comments below so i know you guys are still watching up until this point i used to do those all the time on my channel i had like a secret emoji at the end of the video that people commented that way i know they watched it all the way into the end and it was super fun and maybe i have to start bringing that back i always just forget to say it in the video but yeah anyways i was like i missed the only the only opportunity the Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. I miss the only opportunity I had to own this gorgeous baby. And now there's no telling where he is. Because you guys ever saw like the most gorgeous reborn ever? And then you just never see it again. Like, where are you at? I want to keep up with you. Or even silicone. There's so many silicones that I would love to keep up with just in case they do end up for sale. And I'm finally able to get them. But there's like, where are they at? Like, I don't know. Like, where are they? So, again, he ended up selling, in like, I want to say 2020. It might have even been 2021. 2021 seems more accurate than 2020. Anyways, fast forward to 2022 in May. Fast forward to May of 2022. And... If it wasn't for me joining the Facebook groups, thanks to 
someone that commented and suggested that I try joining them to see if I could get a baby sold. And I ended up joining them. And there was an inquire post and it was like, oh, you know, in search of a reborn baby, show me what you got or whatever. And I saw him. I saw him. The person commented him and was like, I have him for sale. And I was like, oh my gosh, is that my precious Wes's wubba nubba lub? <laughs> I was like, is that him? And like, as soon as I saw him, I automatically knew it was him. But I had to make sure, and it was him. I went back and looked at, okay, don't think this is weird. But if a baby is really, really cute, I screenshot it. So, I have a lot of babies in my phone. That's not mine, but I just thought they were cute and I screenshot it. Reborns. Not of real kids, but of the reborns. And I went back in the photos and I was like, that is him. The only bad thing was I just bought two babies a few days before I saw that post. If not, it was like a day before. I just ended up buying two babies on the same day, like three days before I saw that saw that he was up for sale. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is the worst timing ever. Like, what the heck? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> and I commented and I was like, and mind you, I don't I don't even comment in these in these groups, but I commented back and I was like, oh my gosh, no, I just bought I just bought a baby. Two babies. It's like I just bought two babies. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. You will literally have to bear with me. I was like, oh no, I just bought two babies literally a day ago. And they were like, well, if you need a layaway, I could do one. And I was like, I'm going to message you. I'm going to message you right now. And... I want to get this baby. <laughs> so I ended up getting him. And he was literally a dream come true. Because like I said. I've been wanting him since I first saw him. In 2017. I don't know what I'm doing. Like this looks ridiculous. So that is why. He is special to me. <laughs> this looks so...